Hey guys, Worry Plays The Sims here, and welcome to the 12th part of the Black Widow Challenge. I'm so freaking excited that you guys are here. So today, we're gonna have a bit of a dance party, maybe even serve a little food. What I really wanted to do was have brunch, but the, oh, well, Juliet, careful. <laughs> but the game only does dinner parties, so we're just gonna get together and head out to a special lot I found, but I wanted to do a few things first. Um, the gardener never came, so. Juliet, are you okay, sweetie? I'm trying to, who's, who's all these people? Who all these, wow. Whoa! <gasps> oh my God, be careful. You know, I just asked you to make bacon and eggs. Be careful. You gotta prove that you're a good wife and that you can cook. According to this challenge, you have to, oh, she maxed out her dancing. She's at level six cooking. And, oh, the charisma was another one she had to have, level eight. So she's doing pretty good. Jeez Louise, be careful. Um, let's see what her needs are at this moment. So let's go ahead and have her grab a serving. Uh, go potty. And then, hmm, hygiene might be a little low. I, You know what? I should buy her a freaking shower. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we have enough money for this. And she hates this bathtub anyways, right? So let's go over here. Let's hop into this. Um, sure. <laughs> I hope I put it the right way. I always point it in the wrong direction. Where is he going? Where are you? Oh, he's just going to go stand outside. So for some reason, the gardener guy never came to take care of our cow plant. How weird. Why, why do we have to rehire the gardener every freaking time? So come back over here. Are you guys having a hard time with the gardener? Like he never shows up? He's super tense. Not enough exercise. Okay, well, we will have you water this plant to kind of show the neighbors that, yeah, of course you're taking care of this cow plant, and of course it's going to be an accident when you die and you get eaten by it. Who are all these neighbors just walking by? <laughs> I'm easily distracted. Mop. Only a real neat freak would attempt to mop up a puddle on natural ground. That is true. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send him for a jog because he is freaking the heck out. Juliet, are you done with breakfast yet? Cause you were taking your time and you've got a huge freaking day ahead of you. Let's see how she's doing. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, stop eating that. Let's put this in the fridge. Looks like I'm all done here. That'll be $55. What? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Okay, so. <laughs> so we hired the gardener and he showed up that very second which is weird because in the past when we've hired the gardener he says that he'll show up in a few days so i hope she'll like this shower better she hated that bathtub become flirty and she wants to start a club gathering we will soon and call someone on the phone you'll be doing that soon let's have her go ahead and take a shower do her dishes because my sims never do their dishes they always leave them behind and I want to make sure the food isn't all rotten. What the heck is that? Brew coffee made by Hugo. Oh, wow. I think that was from our dinner party forever ago. Oh, I just remembered. We got to take a picture of a uh, Wichimagoo. Paolo. <laughs> all right. So Juliet is all set to go. So what I want her to do first. First, before we do the dance parties, I'm going to have her travel to a special lot. Um, b -b -b travel, please, by yourself, because you do not want your husband to come with you to where you're going to go. <laughs> so, Juliet got word that there's fresh meat in Oasis Springs, which means that there's a new cowboy in town, which means it's literally a cowboy. <laughs> She has just gotten word that this guy named Seth Rhodes has moved to Oasis Springs. And um, I'll explain a little bit more on what's going on in Oasis Springs when we get to the dance party. But uh, Seth Rhodes was submitted by my dearest and best friend, Penguin Wall 101. And I love that he's a cowboy. He's just like a complete different look, which we'll, I'll explain more on that later. But first, I wanted Juliet to get here and meet him. Is the outside of the house supposed to be green? That's really kind of cool. I've never seen that before. I freaking love this house. This is such a cool little country old style looking house. So this house was made by, 
I hope I say this, Kiklor Angutang. And it's titled Large Family Home in the Sims 4 Gallery. I will have the information for this lot in the description bar down below. But it's just kind of like a little, what a neat table. Why have I never noticed that table before? Is that grass down there? What the heck? Does that actually come in the table? What a cool table if that does. But look at this cool little house. It's like kind of old fashioned, kind of not old fashioned, modern, I don't even know, bachelor-esque. It was his grandmother's home. He used to come here a lot and visit when he was little. This was his grandparents' room. This was his room growing up. And uh, this was another kid's room, but I changed it to like a, a guy room with uh, workout stuff and his little country guitars. So yeah. So we are halfway in the door. <laughs> Literally, we have our foot in the door, in the door. <laughs> and we're just gonna casually walk over here and give him a cheerful introduction. So this guy is gonna be our next victim in um, the, ba the Bachelor Challenge. Wow, I'm all over the place. He's gonna be the next victim for Juliet. So I'm really excited. So I thought we'd come over here. Let's talk about the best bait. He seems like he'd be a, a fishing kind of guy. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. And I wanna get to know him. I wanna know, ask, oh, I don't think he has a career because I just put him in the game. Um, get to know. I don't know what his traits are. I put him in the game and I really can't remember anything about him oh he's a bro how freaking cool let's brighten his day he's also jealous <gasps> oh let's talk about drink making i don't know why but let's just do that let's gossip and tell a funny story i kind of want to get that green all the way well not all the way but at least halfway give him a hug because we're just some random person that comes over to his house and introduces ourselves and give him a hug. <laughs> what else can we do? We can, I want to get to know him some more. It won't let me. Okay. So ask him about his day. How about we flatter him? So while these two are talking, what's basically gonna happen? I'll just tell you now. Juliet is moving after Paolo passes away. She, uh, oh no, wait, I think I was gonna have Paolo. Okay, hmm. sorry about that. Um, we had a knock at the door. So let's see, we're going to flatter this handsome man, tell him a funny story, joke about freaking Martians, flatter him, and what if we, hmm ask about his career because he doesn't have one because I put him in the game <laughs> a heartfelt compliment I feel like that's high enough like if we go home and invite him to this kind of whoa oh don't freeze <gasps> oh please don't crash please oh <laughs> the panicked prayers that us sim players say what Juliet why are you creepily sitting in his chair but you know those panicked prayers that we do that we kind of learned from The Sims 3? Um, I kind of don't want to flirt with him and start anything there because if we invite him to this dance party that we're going to have, he's going to see us with our husband and I don't want to get started on that. So Juliet, you have done really well. Go ahead and head home. What is this for? Stale surroundings. Okay, well, we'll get you new stuff soon. Don't you worry, little miss. But I love this house. It's so freaking adorable. Like I said, I'll have the information for it in the description bar down below if you want to um, download it into your game. But this is the house that Seth lives in. Pretty cute, huh? He's pretty cute too. Good job, Penguin Wall. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna head back home. The cow plant is alive and growing extremely slowly. And these two are out front. Okay, so Juliet, I want you to, we're gonna have a dance party in the middle of the day, why not? Uh, plan a social event, yay! This lot is so freaking cool. I can't wait to show you guys, it's freaking awesome. Okay, so we want to have, I can't have a house party. We want to do, um, dance party it's only 20 bucks that's so cheap party goer look <laughs> you can have your dead ghost husbands come what the heck so well of course we'll invite the black widow ladies our husband seth the new guy that we're gonna um kill off is this is this everybody i feel like i'm forgetting someone 
Doesn't it feel like I'm forgetting someone? One, two, I guess not. Okay, well, let's continue on. I guess I'll find out if we forget someone when we get there and I'm like, oh shoot, dance party here is what I call this lot because it was easier for me to find it in the gallery. So this freaking awesome lot is called Luxury Club, Club Resort and was made by Lucky Heather. I love Lucky Heather builds, they're so fun. So, I just like normal, I will have the information for this lot in the description bar down below. Da da da! Here we are, and Seth is here. Whoops, did we not invite our husband? <laughs> That's the person we forgot. Bring Paolo here. There he is. Sorry about that. Ooh, did you see that? Instantly when he popped up, Sandra was like, um, no. Did you see those negative vibes right off the bat? Whoops, I forgot to turn off. My ringtone, I'm sorry. Yes, that was the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> My ringtone is the Legend of Zelda because I am a Zelda freak. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed that totally happened. Okay, anyways, getting to this awesome lot. Uh, like I said, this is a Lucky Heather lot. This is so cool. This is like the top layer. Oh my gosh, she actually has a bartender. She's super cute. <gasps> Who are you? She's super cute. I love that hairstyle. Okay, we have like a little DJ. I thought that was Don Lothario for a second. I'm like, oh, why aren't you dead? <laughs> but it's not Don Lothario. And then the next layer, we got a little foosball going on over here. We have a little kitchen bar area. There's a bar over here. There's a swimming pool, a little seating area. This is real. Oh, there's more. There's a woohoo spot. <laughs> I mean, there's beds. There's like a shower and everything, but I call them woohoo spots when I go to lots. There's an arcade, more dance clubs. Wow, this place is like happening. It's a cool lot. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, look, I just realized for a dance party, hit the town with your friends, planning at, at dancing at a local nightclub or remote locations. Cool, for a dance party, you don't have to have any of the little... I really hope I did that right. <laughs> but you know the objectives? How cool that we don't have to have any of that. Um, let's go over here and go dancing. Group dance, one, two step in. This guy always shows up at dance clubs. Dominic, you're freaking awesome. Look at everybody, we're all here. Okay, so part of this challenge is that we have dinner parties and show that we are the perfect wife, so we're just going to pretend like this is a dinner party. <laughs> but um, Julia and Paolo have decided to move away from Willow Creek, where they're living right now. This is so cool. Don Lothario has shown up and he's dancing with us, with our future husband, our current husband. Oh my god, this is a freaking mess. Oh, this is so funny. Oh my god, I love it. He doesn't seem that mad. We can woohoo with him? Let's compliment his outfit. Let's see if he totally hates us. Um, Heartfelt compliment. Oh, game. Oh, man, it's freezing so bad. And let's come over here and talk to the new guy. Let's express our admiration for Seth. Um, brighten his day. And we want to talk. Can we make this a... Oh, no. If we make this a black club, what will a Black Widow Club meeting will probably cancel the party. So let's hug Sandra, unless you guys know otherwise. Wow, this is a really cool place. Look how bad this is. We've got our dead husband, our future husband. Oh my freaking gosh. Let's come over here and uh, brighten her day. Rosalie, I freaking adore you. Let's take a picture together, share a secret, and be like, can you believe this is happening right now? Um, let's come over here and gossip with her. Wait, Allison, don't walk away. We want to share photos with you. Tell her a funny story. Look, she seems to be getting along with our new husband really well. Look at Sandra, Talk to our, talking to our dead husband. Talk it to Seth. Oh my gosh. I love how these Black Widow ladies like really support each other. This is freaking awesome. So, um, Julia and Paolo have decided to move away from Willow Creek. Julia has a secret reason for moving in that she doesn't want the cops to get suspicious that her husbands keep dying. But Paolo, she let Paolo believe. Uh, where is she anyways? Oh, she's over here. Okay. You know what? Let's get in here. Uh, get in together? Can we, how many people will get in there? 
Um, but she let Paolo believe that she wants to have a fresh start for their new marriage. It was the theme Paolo set when they got married in Windenburg, like, you know, fresh starts and all that stuff, because all of her husbands have died. <laughs> he doesn't know why. He thinks they've all been kind of accidents. So, oh my God, Allison, you have the best laugh. So it was the theme of fresh starts and, uh, when Paolo and Juliet got married in Windenburg and he wants to carry this idea through and leave Willow Creek. So that's what they're going to do. She's just going to continue talking to everyone. You do that. Become flirty. Hmm. <laughs> Sandra, what are you doing? <laughs> she just walked over right in front of us. I think she kind of likes our guy. Hands off, honey. He's ours. He's going to be our future victim. Wah ha 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 ha. Look at everybody. How many people can fit in here? Oh, look how cute she is with her hat. Oh, can ghosts actually get in the spa? This will be interesting. Okay, so we've got our future guy here. Let's get to know him a little bit more. We've got our ex-husband in the hot. We're hot tubbing with our ex dead husband and options are like kiss make out everyone's getting out everyone's getting out don't leave me here with this awkwardness <gasps> oh they're all getting out so we can talk to seth Woo oh my mouse just broke there it goes we're gonna tell him a dramatic story we're going to brighten his day he is topless in a hot tub with his cowboy hat on the true cowboy never takes his hat off. Am I right, ladies? I'm right. Let's um, p compliment his outfit. Be like, you know what, dude? You are freaking working this right now. Inside joke. Um, Can we splash him? Look at... <gasps> How does our husband not freak out that we're in a hot pink bikini with a topless cowboy? Don Lothario, I heard you became friends with Seth Rhodes. He's pretty cool. Our ex-husband approves. <laughs> this is turning out to be way funnier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, express admiration. I almost didn't invite him. I was like, no, I don't want to make it weird. But um, no, this isn't weird. This is actually turning out kind of funny. Discuss latest games with him. Let's uh, ask about his day. Can we splash him? Let's see how all those work out. Star club meeting, become flirty, and show off muscles to someone. Gosh, everyone's really liking this a lot. You see everyone in the background? <gasps> Is Don Lothario what? <laughs> Don Lothario is possessing this. Is that what he's doing right now? You go, dude. Good job. I want to see what this splash interaction looks like. Is she going to do it? Am I, do I just keep missing it? Uh, scare. We don't want to scare him or shoo him from the hot tub. Uh, splash. I think I just keep missing it. Oh my god, they're going to be the cutest couple ever. I already feel guilty. <laughs> But I did talk to, when you guys submit sims, you guys are like, I totally get it that, you guys, that you're guys that you going to be killing off my sim. So I like that you guys understand. Uh, let's give her a hug. Let's come over here and, oh, we got to talk to our other friend. Stop walking around. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, stop. You know what? Pause. Stop walking around. Uh, our dance party is still going. It's doing pretty good. Uh, can we, hmm. Let's gossip with her. And we've completely ignored Paolo. Dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, we don't want to try for baby. Um, let's brighten his day. Can we all come over here and dance? Dance together. Go here together. Group dance. Dance. Let's group dance again. One, two, step in. That was really fun. I love seeing everyone. Oh, we're super tired. Well, you'll get over it because this is your goodbye party from Willow Creek because we are getting the heck out of town. We are moving. Oh, he has to go pee. <laughs> what a gentleman. He doesn't pee in the spa. Good for you. <laughs> I don't know if Sims do that. Do you guys know if Sims pee in the pool? Um, can we? Nope. She's just going to keep chatting. Let's come over here and do a group dance. One, two, step in. Who is this guy? Wilson Swenson. You go, dude. You drop those. Well, he's not dropping beats. He's just dancing. He's like, get off the dance floor. Good for you, Juliet. And Don Lothario, why are you d they're sitting by yourself? He was having like a bowl of chips or something? I guess he was. 
Wow, look at us! Oh my gosh, with our Black Widow ladies and our future husband. Wow, this is so much freaking fun. I absolutely love, look at us in all of our swimsuits dancing. Woohoo! Oh, what a fun freaking lot. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited because the, the house that she's going to be moving into, um, she's going to be changing her look too to kind of attract this cowboy. She's going to change her look completely. I hope you guys will still recognize her. She's going to be moving into like a country kind of house. So I was just noticing uh, we had $320,000. So we should have enough money to buy this new house because we're going to be selling. Oh, don't freeze on me. Oh, we're going to, it's like gives you mini heart attacks. You know what I mean? We're going to be selling our current house. So yeah, we should have enough money to get this new house. Awesome. Almost done. We're almost there. 14 minutes. Um, let's, can we do more dancing stuff? Show off moves. Do a backflip. She's super exhausted and I'm like, can you just do a backflip for me? Group dance, group dance. What? Oh, look at them! Oh my gosh, I freaking love it! And they're actually really good too! Like these dance moves! Gosh, I miss competing! Are you gonna do it now? Nope, you're gonna do something else first? One, two, step in. Yeah, that's really cute. Now do a backflip! Nope, she's not going to. Uh, goodbye. Oh, we did it, you guys! We had a freaking dance party! That is so cool. Where is our husband? Dance. Goodbye. Okay, she. Where's our husband? <laughs> you are an absolute weirdo. We were just having a party and you are down here. What the heck? Can we woohoo in here? No. Um, can we woohoo in this? No. Okay. Uh, oh, I wish we could shower woohoo. Do you guys miss that interaction? Oh, I miss that. I mean, we could like woohoo up here. But it's a, uh, oh my gosh, look at this. Jump into pool, backflip. What? Oh, cool. Look, you can see him down there. How freaking awesome. I meant for Julia to do a backflip, but that's okay. Swan dive? Oh, look how pretty you guys see the little leaves falling off that tree. That's so pretty. Sandra's still here. And so is Don Lothario. <laughs> oh no, that's Ryan Brimstone. I think that's that's the guy we just killed, right? Oh, look how pissed he is. He's, well, he's green, but he's not mad right now. This is so weird to see all of our ex-husbands here. We can still, like, find common ground. Let's see if we can find common ground with him. Whoa, unbelievable. Allison is over here sitting right next to him. This is unbelievable. I can't believe your ex-husbands. Who else is here? Kind of no one really. Julia, you're gonna come over here. I wonder if he'll find common, ah, oh, it stopped. No, come over here, go here and find common ground. I didn't know this was a thing, but I've never been, she just said hi. Paolo earned, oh. Paolo earned some money while he called in fake sick to work. I didn't know that he called in fake sick. Are we gonna find common ground? Oh, they did little plus marks, so... Um... Let's not make a move on him. I don't wanna do that. Brighten his day, maybe? So sorry, ask about being dead. What the heck is all of this stuff? Compliment his outfit. Um, what else can we do? I don't want to do any romantic stuff with you, dude. So sorry. Ask about his day. And then let's see if we can... Where's our husband? Oh my gosh! Look who else is here! That's Don Lothario's mom! <gasps> Whoa! Lillian Caldwell is Don Lothario's mom in my game. And she is the one that killed off Juliet's dad which made Juliet become a freaking black widow Whoa. so many freaking things going on here I can't even handle it go here should we go here and dance with our ex-husbands <laughs> even in death Don Lothario is just enjoying himself and Paolo is here in a little yellow speedo gosh 
This was awesome. I had so much fun on this lot. What a fun freaking lot. What did she want to apologize to Lillian? She wanted to apologize to her ex-mother-in-law. Where is Lillian? It's like she's just trying to uh, make amends with everyone. I don't see Lillian here anymore. Maybe she's gone home. Huh. Okay, then. I don't know if I want to apologize to Lillian. So, oh, and then her son was over here dancing. How sad. You are completely exhausted. Come, come over here, honey. Take a nap. <laughs> we had a great day today. Wow. We were, oh, he <laughs> fell asleep in the hot tub. You guys are so <laughs> exhausted. I didn't know that they could fall asleep in the hot tub. We're going to end it on this note, on our exhausted babies. <laughs> <laughs> They're exhausted little sims. If you guys like this Let's Play, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions and any questions you guys have down below. Um, all the lots that you see today, I will have their information on where to find them in the gallery in the description, down bar, description bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! town which means it's literally a cowboy <laughs> she has just gotten word that this guy named seth rhodes has moved to oasis springs and um i'll explain a little bit more on what's going on in oasis springs when we get to the dance party but uh seth rhodes was submitted by my dearest and best friend penguin wall 101 and i love that he's a cowboy he's just like a complete different look which will i'll explain more on that later but first i wanted juliet to get here and meet him is the outside of the house supposed to be green that's really kind of cool i've never seen that before i freaking love this house this is such a cool little country old style looking house so this house was made by I hope I say this, Kiklor Angutang, and it's titled Large Family Home in the Sims 4 Gallery. I will have the information for this lot in the description bar down below, but it's just kind of like a little, what a neat table. Why have I never, let's see what her needs are at this moment. So let's go ahead and have her grab a serving, uh, go potty, and then, hmm, hygiene might be a little low. I. You know what? I should buy her a freaking shower. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we have enough money for this. And she hates this bathtub anyways, right? So let's go over here. Let's hop into this. Um, sure. <laughs> I hope I put it the right way. I always point it in the wrong direction. Where is he going? Where are you? Oh, he's just going to go stand outside. So for some reason, the gardener guy never came to take care of our cow plant. How weird. Why, why do we have to rehire the gardener every freaking time? So come back over here. Are you guys having a hard time with the gardener? Like he never shows up? He's super tense. Not enough exercise. Okay, well, we will have you water this plant to kind of show the neighbors that, yeah, of course. <laughs> Hey guys, Roy Plays The Sims here, and welcome to the 12th part of the Black Widow Challenge. I'm so freaking excited that you guys are here. So today, we're going to have a bit of a dance party, maybe even serve a little food. What I really wanted to do was have brunch, but the, oh, well, Juliet, careful. <laughs> but the game only does dinner parties, so we're just going to get together and head out to a special lot I found, but I wanted to do a few things first. Um, the gardener never came, so... Juliet, are you okay, sweetie? I'm trying to, who's, who's all these people? Who all these, wow. Whoa! Oh my God, be careful. You know, I just asked you to make bacon and eggs. Be careful. You gotta prove that you're a good wife and that you can cook. According to this challenge, you have to, oh, she maxed out her dancing. She's at level six cooking. And, oh, the charisma was another one she had to have, level eight. So she's doing pretty good. Jeez Louise, be careful. Um, I'm flirty and she wants to start a club gathering. We will soon and call someone on the phone. You'll be doing that soon. Let's have her go ahead and take a shower. Do her dishes because my Sims never do their dishes. They always leave them behind. And 
I want to make sure the food isn't all rotten. What the heck is that? Brew coffee made by Hugo. Oh, wow. I think that was from our dinner party forever ago. Oh, I just remembered. We got to take a picture of a uh, Wichimagoo. Paolo. <laughs> all right. So Juliet is all set to go. So what I want her to do first before we do the dance parties, I'm going to have her travel to a special lot. Um, b -b -b Travel, please, by yourself, because you do not want your husband to come with you to where you're going to go. <laughs> so Juliet got word that there's fresh meat in Oasis Springs, which means that there's a new cowboy. And of course, you're taking care of this cow plant. And of course, it's going to be an accident when you die and you get eaten by it. Who are all these neighbors just walking by? <laughs> I'm easily distracted. Mop. Only a real neat freak would attempt to mop up a puddle on natural ground. That is true. So what we're going to do is we're going to send him for a jog because he is freaking the heck out. Julia, are you done with breakfast yet? Because you were taking your time and you've got a huge freaking day ahead of you. Let's see how she's doing. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, stop eating that. Let's put this in the fridge. Looks like I'm all done here. That'll be $55. What? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Okay, so... <sighs> So we hired the gardener and he showed up that very second, which is weird because in the past when we've hired the gardener, he says that he'll show up in a few days. So I hope she'll like this shower better. She hated that bathtub. Bec 